Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. Today we are in the city of Canalville. We are going to be working on a university area, which I'm super excited about. I was, I've been looking at a lot of universities for inspiration, and then we are also going to be working on a low density residential, and I've been kind of looking mostly at Fort Lauderdale as an inspiration for this. Kept going back and forth how we should do low, low density residential with the canals and and I think I settled on something that's going to look good. First off, I wanted to jump into a few things that I did in between episodes. First one is I added in these bridges. I thought it was going to be really cool and give the city a little more character if we did custom bridges. So I did two of those right there. And then I did another one as well. I did a really big suspension bridge over here. I wanted to capture something that was just going to be cool, like right next to our downtown, future downtown. And so this would definitely be a part of the skyline. And so I think it looks really good. I'm glad that I got it in there. I did also extend our freeway out this way. I ended it right there for right now because I'm not really sure what we're going to do over here just yet. And we don't really need that access as of right now. We already have this access coming through here. And so if we were to just connect that up, we'd probably just get people trying to cut this. And we really don't need that right now. I did add in a toll booth as well, though. So anybody who is coming into the city or leaving, going over the bridge, does have to pay and it, a lot of times you see these because it helps to fund the bridge. Normally you'll only see them going one way typically into the city and I was playing around with doing it one way but I just couldn't get it to look as good as it does with this. I just added in a couple little key walls and kind of cleaned it up and then I did an exit so that anybody who is potentially going this way if they don't want to pay the toll they can get off and then get on this road. Okay, so the first thing I want to jump into is a transportation network before we jump into our university. Um, having transportation to your university is super important, especially as your city gets larger and um, people will stop going the further they are from the campus. And so I felt like it was just going to be a really good time for us to uh, put in some metro. I've been getting a lot of comments. Ferries are the only thing we have right now. Actually, we have a bus network as well, but our bus really isn't super extensive. I'm not a big fan of buses. I don't know if anybody could tell, but I don't use buses really that often. So what I want to do is come in here and we're going to attach this up and then I'm going to jump in here and I want to go to a bigger transit hub, probably this elevated dual island platform metro. And I think I may have made it just up. Oh, no, perfect. Look at that. Nice. And I really wanted to get that road right next to it. That was really what I was going for here. And then we will just come up here and just connect it. And then we will connect this as well. And then we are going to lay out a metro network. And we really got to be mindful of this. Um, couple considerations. We have this elevated freeway network that is going to be a problem for us to get past. And so what I think we're going to do is probably turn it, go over this freeway, and then come up this way, go down to the ground so we can go underneath. I felt like this was going to be a really good location for that. And then we're going to turn up this way, come this way, follow this little patch of concrete that we have in here. I think it's going to look really cool. Then we're going to begin to curve and come this way. And then we will turn and probably end right there or even potentially put a station right there. But then I want to have this continue on and probably come up here potentially and maybe do a station right there or right there. I'd really want to give access to our big industrial area as well. But then by um, coming this way, we also allow some room for us to maybe do a station right there. And since these are all really underserved areas, our bus station is right there and we have a bunch of bus lines, but I really don't want to become dependent on bus, um, especially with all of our bridges. There's a lot of bottlenecks. And so I think Metro is going to really help us to try to get ahead of that. And so I'm going to go ahead and do the network real quick and I will be right back with you. Okay, so I got it done. And so what I did was I basically used this as kind of like a mini transit hub. Um, so we have two lines branching off from here, one coming up this way, and then it goes down to ground level underneath the freeway and then comes back up over the canal, goes to a station right here and then comes up here, goes around here and then goes to a station right there. And then I have another line, that second line that terminates over here. So it comes all the way down here, kind of follows the key. Here's another station. Then I had it follow this uh, whole concrete waterfront area and then another uh, above ground station and then had it go below the freeway right here again, kind of ground level and then um, turn up here and then terminate right there. And I think this is really going to help out our city a lot. And I tried to leave room for us to incorporate the metro 
especially right here in some fun ways. That's why I had it kind of cut right through the middle. I really like it when you can capture that uh, that cool like th metro through the buildings kind of look, though I'm not really sure what we're going to do with this. I know that we're not going to keep extending our industrial out here just because if you do a huge industrial area like this, a lot of times it just generates too much traffic. And so we'll just kind of we'll just have to see. And so let's jump in here now and let's go ahead and do our lines. So we are going to come over here and we'll just do one on this side and we'll come all the way down here, connect it up, go right there, come down here and then have it come back. We'll have it go like this and then complete line. And I really wanted it to be on that other side, but I think what I can do is just go back and uh, redraw the line in again. Then we'll go like that and then connect it up right here and then Bam, look at that. That's actually really nice. And there we go. And so now let's jump in here and I want these to be capa high capacity metro. And we'll keep one green and we'll probably do, let's say blue. Nice. And so now we have a metro and we should be good to go. Uh, we'll let that run for a little bit as we're building out this uh, university and we will kind of see what kind of capacity issues we have. We do still have this basically so this section right here doesn't have a station, this section right here doesn't have a station, and this section doesn't as well. But we are going to be doing some walking paths and stuff, and so that's why I wasn't like super concerned about it. They have a station close enough, and then once we do some pedestrian bridges, I know we have this one, but I really want to get some more going, um, especially up here, I want to get some pedestrian bridges, and it's going to really help to uh, increase that maneuverability a little bit. And so now let's jump into a university. I think I already painted this, yeah, so I painted this whole area as a campus area. Okay, so what we're going to do is go to a one unit road and we are going to draw it across. I'm going to turn back on snapping and I want it to be with the key wall. So we'll probably go like right there. And I think that is pretty close to center. It's not perfect. I think I'm going to slide it over just a little bit. And so the idea is we will use the liberal arts college since we haven't done that in a while. And I think it has some really fun looking buildings. So then we will move this over just a little bit. Not much, just to kind of center it. And then what I'm thinking is we will jump in here and I want to do kind of a big roundabout or oval about for this area. So we're going to go down and we're going to go over three. We're going to go down and we're going to go over three. And then what we're going to do is we're going to curve this. I was looking at a lot of different universities for inspiration with this. And I've actually been to quite a few universities. And one of the things I, I really like about universities is they tend to have really fun layouts, a lot of landscaping. A lot of them are extremely rich in history, and so you get a lot of really uh, cool-looking buildings and stuff, especially um, the older ones. Like, in America, we have Harvard or Yale or any of those Ivy Leagues. Like, they've been around for a really long time, and so I, I like capturing some of that look. And so um, what we'll do is we'll have the main building there, and we're going to put our first school here. I believe it is the School of Engineering. Yeah, let's go ahead and place that just so we know. So it looks like that right there center. And then what I'm thinking is we are going to do dormitories on each of the corners. And then I want to do kind of a fun layout, make this into a whole quad area. And so what we're going to do is draw a road out first, just a little piece of road. And then we're going to jump into the roundabout builder. And I think I'm going to go, you know, what? that's actually good right there. And then we will come in here and try our best to delete that little piece of road. It looks like it's going to be an issue. I'm going to redraw this real quick. Okay, got the little piece of road. And so now we will basically what I, what I drew that for was so that we could put the dormitories off of it and get a form of symmetry with them. That's really what I'm trying to go for here. So we are going to go to dormitories. Where are they? Are they these ones? Yeah, liberal arts dormitory. So then we're going to go like that. We're going to go like that. And then we're going to come over here and go like that. Hey, you know what? I like that. It's not perfectly square. That's why I wanted to do the circle. Um, cause then you get more of a kind of close knit. Like we could even turn this one just a little bit more. Yeah, I think that's perfect right there. And then we are going to remove the road and then go ahead and copy it. So we're going to grab these and we are going to copy and then we are going to place these in each of the corners. Yeah. You know what? That looks pretty good. They look, pretty even. You can kind of tell this one's a little swung out more just because both sides weren't even. It wasn't perfectly symmetrical from left to right. And so I'm not too worried about it. We are now going to jump into pedestrian roads. I'm going to go over to the zonable pedestrian paved road and we are going to draw this in. 
gonna turn off snapping so I can get a nice clean look. I'm gonna go all the way around. And this is just gonna help us capture a nice uh, symmetrical look with this area. That's really what I'm trying to go for here. A lot of times, especially with this game, if you can get like a really cool aerial like symmetry going, it just looks so much better. Even though, I mean, it's not entirely realistic and in real life, it being symmetrical isn't a huge priority a lot of the times. So we'll go like that and then we will, you know what, we're a little off. So I think we will bring this one out a little bit because I would prefer these to terminate at about the same, same area. Yeah, it's not bad. So then we will go ahead and do a road over here. We're going to go into a two unit road. And we are going to try our best to go in the middle. It looks like probably about like right there. I'm going to turn back on snapping. We're going to go like right there and then we will get rid of this. And then let's go ahead and jump back into our pedestrian roads. And we are going to go like this. Okay, so it looks like these ones need to be back just a little bit further and a little more tilted. I would prefer these to be, uh, <laughs> be straight. Um, fixing that one on the bottom side was one thing, but if I'm having to do it for all of them, it's definitely going to ruin a lot of it. So I would prefer that not to be the case. And so we will go like this. And then now what we should be able to do is have it terminated about the same area. So yeah, we'll go like right there. And then this one can go the same way. I think we'll actually delete the road this time. Yeah, there we go. It's not perfect, but it looks good. And that's really what we're trying to go for here. I think we're gonna do the same thing over here. So we will get rid of that. And then we will bring this in just a little bit. Yeah, nice. I actually really like this. I think this is looking pretty spiffy. And so for these roads, what I would like to do, I really wanna to try to capture that same, same look. So I think we will bring this back and then tilt it a little bit and then fix this road. And then I think I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to get rid of that. And then what we're going to do is tilt this one up a little more just to get it a little better with that other one. Nice. There you go. It looks a little better. And then now what we can do is come down here and we will have this one terminate right on the curve. So we'll go like that. And you know what? I think that looks pretty good. It's not perfect. Like I, I like the curve on these ones a little better than I do on these. I think I'm just going to fix them real quick, get them at about the same angle. Okay, and after kind of playing around with the layout a little bit, I finally got it to where I think it looks pretty good. Um, I did have to move around a few of them. You can kind of tell the, the curves are just not perfect on them. And I think it's just because this is slightly to the right. But this one, you can kind of tell it's just a little off, but it looks good. We're not going to pay attention to it. And so now what I want to do is go ahead and jump into our freeform tool. And I want to do a little water feature in here since that seems to be like my specialty now. And so we're going to jump in here. We're going to level this out and I'm not going to do anything really big. I want it to be like reasonable size, but not overbearing. So we're going to go like right there and then we are going to come over to our stone key fence decorated. And we're just going to do a little square. I'm going to turn on snapping so I can get those 90 degree angles. We're going to go like that. And you know what? I think that looks pretty spiffy. I actually think that looks really good. And then um, let's go ahead and drop a water source in here. We need to pause. It's always good to pause whenever doing these water sources because otherwise they kind of bob up and down like water starts coming in and it can just make it a little more difficult for you. So once you pause, then you can hit play again and all your water will start coming in. And then what I want to do is something a little different here. So we are gonna do uh, the unique building, the clock tower in the middle, but I wanna use some pillars to stand it up. And I'm gonna have to cheat a little bit and use per procedural objects, but I think it just looks really cool. I was trying to look at some other clock towers and I think if we can get this one, uh, it's gonna look the best. And so what I'm doing now is just looking for a pillar. And I think I'm gonna use this one right here, this uh, one unit, two lane, two way gravel road bridge pillar. And this is actually by Delta 5-1. I'm gonna place it on the road so I can grab it. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna sink it into the water. And I wanna choose a height that is where I would prefer my clock tower base to be. And then what I'm gonna do is copy that. I'm gonna turn this to the side and I'm going to mimic this all the way around. Okay, there we go. So we got a nice little base now. I'm does look like maybe it's not all the same height. Oh no, it's good. And so now I just want to make sure that this is in the middle. 
And then what I'm gonna do is search up our lovely little clock tower. So we're gonna come in here. I always forget like which many of those things are in. Oh yeah, there you go. So clock tower, unique building. I, I really like this building. And I was going back and forth with actually just placing this here, but um, I felt like doing this in the water was gonna be really cool. So I actually kind of messed up. So what you gotta do is select it and then convert to PO. And then what we're gonna do is go ahead and place that down. And anybody who is unfamiliar, this is definitely an advanced technique. I'm not gonna do too much here though. I'm just going to hit scale, select all, and then lower the scale down. I wanna make this thing nice and small. And you know what, that's probably good right there. And then what I'll need to do is jump in here and go to move. And then I wanna place it on top of this. I think we'll go like right about there. We're gonna raise it up. We want it to be just below where the base is. So we'll go like right there. And then what I'm gonna do is jump back in to move it. And I'm going to shift our little walls out so that it covers the actual base of this clock tower. I still wanna line them up though. I don't wanna lose the lovely little square that we have going on here. Yeah, you know what? I think that actually looks really cool. I like that it's got the wood kind of coming out of it. Um, I do want to cover just a little more of that. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Then we'll bring this back just a smidge. And you know what? I think that looks fantastic. I actually, I think the wood just looks really cool with the brick. And then what we're gonna do is just sink this down. So we will go like this, select all, and that should have selected the PO object as well. Yeah, nice. And we'll go like right there. And so now our school has a nice little clock tower right in the middle of the lake. I think this looks fantastic. And so now I do want to place a couple of these other buildings. I think we're going to do the study hall right here. And then I think we, so the groundskeeping, we have drama club. Those are small buildings. So we can actually just kind of place these around. I think for groundskeeping, what we'll do is we'll actually put it off the main building. I think that's good. And then we can put the drama club like right here. Um, we don't have any other buildings right now, but we do unlock a bunch of plazas and a bunch of really fun stuff. And so, okay, so now what we're gonna do is do some path networks. Um, I'm gonna jump into the liberal arts path with decorations, and I'm just gonna do a couple connections. We're not gonna get crazy with it. I think we are going to try to follow the symmetry as best we can. So we're gonna come in here and just complete these little connections right here. Did kind of get, get ahead of myself right there. So we will come up here and then curve it and connect it up. We will come over here, curve it and connect it up. And then we will come over here and do the same thing, curve it, connect it up. Nice, and so there we have a nice little connection. And so now what I would like to do is go ahead and connect up some of these middle paths. I think this would just be fantastic. So we're gonna go like that. We're gonna come up here, go like that. And then I think we will go like this. And then we'll leave that one empty since the building is there. And that does kind of break up our symmetry a little bit, but it's a school. And so having these open grounds areas would be so important, especially with the dormitories and everything. You really want to try to provide some nice walking areas for the students and for people to do things. And it's just really important. Okay, and so now what I want to do is jump into the Bob mod and we're going to select one of these. And I want to replace these trees. I really want to go with those. With the live oaks, I think, yeah, look at that. That is fantastic. And then we will switch it to the new bush. So we'll come down here, wild hedge. Yeah, there you go. And this is just going to provide a little bit more of a cleaner look for what we're going for rather than those bright green trees. And so now what I want to do also is do some road access. So I think we're going to do a road back here. And then I think we could even curve that and have it come this way. I think that would be fantastic. So we'll come right here. We'll come all the way down here. We'll curve it. And it does look like I chose a one-way road for some reason. We don't really want this outside section to be one way. Though I think for the actual quad area, we will do a one way. Um, I think we can sneak one back here as well, but because this dormitory, I'm not really sure that's like so close. I wonder if we can get it right there. Let's go ahead and turn off snapping and see if we can sneak a road back here. You know what? I think we did. That is a low hanging tree, but we could imagine that maybe some landscapers would probably come in and, uh, and make that a little bit cleaner. So we'll go like this and then we'll come around and then we will come this way and we will basically do the same thing. I'm going to turn off snapping though so I can get right next to that key wall and then I'm going to turn on snapping and come over here. And I think we're going to have to be just as close for this one. I wonder if I can just grab this dormitory though. 
Just shift it a little bit. I mean, did that do it? Yeah, look, we're good again. So then I'm going to turn off snapping, come all the way down here, and then turn back on snapping for this curve, come up here, connect it. Looks like I'm going to have to turn off snapping again. Connect that up. And then what we'll do is um, connect this one up as well. But we need to have some uh, outside access too. So this is, uh, we need to make sure to uh, connect this up somehow. Because right now we have a really nice university area that does ha not have any access. So then we will come up over here and then we will grab this one. I don't want to go into the ore area. So I think we will go up this way. And then we will come down this way. And I think we can actually connect up on the back side of this. This would be like a back entrance area because we really want to make sure that people don't start using this as like a front entrance. We got to be careful with that. That might be a bad idea because this is like in the back of an office park. But yeah, we'll, we'll have to see because having that access there is good because um, we might even be able to snake a little metro center in here, too. That could be great. Um, but I think for right now, we'll leave it like that. And then we can always come back and kind of fix it if we need to. So then we'll come up over here. We'll connect that up. And you know what? I think that is pretty good. So now what I want to do is jump into the move it mod and we are going to just shift these a little bit. You got to watch out whenever doing these uh, key walls. And then what I'm going to do is actually grab the key wall and lower it down instead of raising up the road. So basically what I'm going to do with this city, um, what I've been kind of planning for is we're going to have lanes for our ferries. So any of these low lying bridges are now going to be areas where a ferry cannot pass. So for right now, we have full open ferry access right here because we did all those big bridges. And so ferry can come back here, come all the way over here. Ferry gets blocked right there. You know what? I think we're actually we're going to nix that. Because I don't want to block the ferry right there. I kind of got ahead of myself. We can always do a, a metro station right here. You know, we're actually going to do that real quick. So we're just going to delete these. It's really close to that other station, but I think it's going to be so important to have. And so now, um, before we forget, because I know I will, let's go ahead and make our make some stops in here. So now we have two stops. So now our lovely university area has access, and we need to do some paths back there too. So we hooked up connection right there. We kind of got sidetracked a little bit, but I think we already raised up our key walls. Yeah, we did. So those look good. We'll just clean this one up and then we'll start working on that path access real quick. So then what I'm going to do is move this node a little bit closer just so that I can lower it right below the road. And it's just a little more accurate that way. And then let's jump back into our path, go in here. And I want to do a path back here. I want it to be on the ground. That would be good. Go like this and we'll probably connect this one up as well. And then let's go ahead and connect up our key wall too. So then we will connect this up, connect this up, connect our key wall up, go back here. One of the nice things with universities is they come, a lot of the buildings have those path networks all the way around them. And so it makes it really easy for you to add in buildings or just uh, create a, a bigger path network or something like that. It's just a really fun way to uh, build out a nice university. I think that looks pretty good. I do want to just connect this up. And then what I think we'll do over here is a bridge. So I think if we come like right over here, let's go ahead and go 30. We'll go like right there. We'll come across. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and delete this path. And then we will jump back in here and we're going to curve it down just so we can get a nice look out of it. We're going to go like this, curve it down again. Nice. Yeah, look at that. Nice clean bridge. And then we will do the same thing right here. Curve it down. I think we may be clipping that metro a little bit, so we'll have to kind of check. We definitely don't want people... Uh, no, that's actually pretty good. Jumps down low enough. So these would be stairs, but with them being ramps, the good thing is it provides wheelchair access, which is important. And so now we have a nice path network, which this will probably start getting utilized pretty good. I'll go ahead and place down water pipes real quick. Okay, and so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and jump into some landscaping. I'm going to go ahead and do bushes all the way around these. And then I think I'm going to add in some gazebos and then probably some trees and some sitting areas for everybody. 
And then what I want to do for this middle section is jump into a path and I want to do some cobblestone around it with some seating areas and just make it into a really welcoming area, especially with the main building and then the school of engineering on one side. We could see this as just like a really big quad where people can go study and just kind of have a good time and hang out, enjoy the clock tower and everything. And so I will be right back with you. Okay. And there we go. So I left these uh, big open grassy areas as fields because normally with universities, you have a lot of fields, uh, people walking through them and stuff. And it's just part of the atmosphere. Um, what I ended up doing with the quad was putting in these um, gazebos and then kind of adding in some path access to our key wall. But then I accentuated it all with these red uh, liquid amber trees. I'll go ahead and throw them on my uh, asset list. I use these pretty heavily in Zillowood. I think they look really good. Um, but I really like this look. I was going for something not as overboard. And so um, I think it looks really clean. And I wanted to leave some room for us to be able to add in like maybe some of the fountains and everything. And so um, I think it looks great. If you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that like button. Um, I super appreciate it. It really helps the videos out a lot. And so now let's move on to this section. And let's go ahead and remove this uh, little weird patch of trees that we have going on here. Go like right there. And then what I'm thinking is we're going to do low density residential, but we are going to do um, the self-sufficient housing because I think it's going to really get a cool look in here. Okay, so what I want to do first is grab a two unit road. I'm going to do this one with trees just because it looks a little nicer. And I'm going to go to the middle of this little island and I'm going to go ahead and do that all the way down. And you know what? Before we do that, um, just to save a little time, if you jump into zoning adjuster first, and make any changes like this, it actually applies it to the roads that you lay down. I want my zoning set back to be at maximum, which is eight meters, which I think is one square or something like that. Or it's yeah, one whole square. And so I'm going to go ahead and copy that all the way down here. Yeah, we're going to go like that. And then we're going to come down here and do this as well. And this one's not hooked up. So we'll go like that. And I think we're just going to follow this down to might as well. I really like the small couplet kind of look. I think that looks great. I do um, wish this was fixed. I think I'm going to get rid of that. And then we're going to get rid of that crossover as well. And then what we'll do is we will turn this around and I want that to be a ground piece. So I'm going to upgrade that and we could connect this up right here. That is a high density neighborhood. So I'm actually tempted to do that. Let's see if we can just make it go straight without any problems. Um, we do want that to be a bridge though. I don't want to do it like a land bridge. I think that would be weird. Oh, you know what? That's actually great. It does block off our, uh, our ferries though. So we've got to be mindful. So right here blocks it off, which this whole section is going to be blocked off. So ferries have access to this area. Um, not this bridge, but this whole area, which I think is good. And the main thing is ferries have access to our big waterway down here. So I think this is good. Um, we don't really need ferries in this low density residential area. So I'm not like super worried about it. Um, we are probably going to go back through here and just clean up some of these little roads real quick. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And I'm glad we got access over here too. That's going to be good for this area. And so we're probably going to do this as commercial. And then we're going to do all of this as low density residential. And we need to do schools. And then I want to do um, some of the healthcare stuff. We haven't really placed down any of the like saunas or yoga gardens. We haven't done the child health care or the elder care, which is just a shame on us because those are um, much needed buildings for your city. They help your city to grow. And so we're going to jump into the district tool and we're going to go to paint district and we're going to paint this all as one district. And it looks like it is called Beachwood District. We haven't really done names, but if you guys want to come up with a fun name man, go ahead and let me know. Um, I love getting suggestions from you guys. I think it's super fun. Um, I went ahead and already laid down water pipes. And so now what we're going to do is just go ahead and start zoning it in. And we will just go like this and come all the way down. Just do the whole thing. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so before we really get everything coming in, what I want to do is do a couple bridges. So what we're going to use is this European two-lane two stone bridge. I think it just looks so cool. It's such a great little bridge. And what we're going to do is just literally go across, just connect up all the neighborhoods with each other. I think we will. Oh, we turned a little bit on that one. No, we don't want to do that. I want to keep. Oh, it's because we don't have snapping on. Yeah, there we go. We're going to come up here, go like that. And then we will. Uh, you know, it looks like we can actually come right here. 
Uh, yeah, perfect. I wanted to get over here. That was my goal. So there we go. So now we have a couple little road bridge access points and now we have an access point over here and I think we're gonna connect it up right there. And I think that is fantastic. I'm just gonna go through and clean these up like we did the other ones real quick. Just kind of raise these up and then lower the keys a little bit. Just make them look a little better, more realistic. Okay, so while we have those growing in, what I wanna do is go ahead and clean these up. It looks like I forgot to do these ones. So we're just going to control H and then I want to do a school. So I think we're going to do a elementary down here. And we're just going to do a simple elementary, nothing fancy. I don't even think we're going to do parking for it. But we are going to do a little bit of a nicer uh, high school. We're going to go like that. And then what we're going to do is jump in here, go to small playground, and put this guy right there. Yeah, look at that. So easy, looks good, it never fails. You know, it, you can't go wrong with that. And then we're gonna put the high school back here. Just want to uh, level this out a little bit. It looks like this ground is just a little off. It's, it's tough working with these keys. They're uh, they're so small in a lot of areas. So I think we can raise this one up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. And then what we'll do is we will jump in here and then do a road up here. I actually think we can use those one unit roads. I think that would be smart. So we'll go like this and then we will come up here, we'll go down here. And then what I'm gonna do is grab these nodes, level them to that. And then I'm going to turn on that, straighten this out. And I'm going to straighten this one out as well. And then what I'm gonna do is turn this. Yeah, look at this, perfect. And then we will grab our high school, put the high school right though I don't want the zoning to be that far on this one. So we are going to bring this back down. Yeah, there we go, perfect. And then let's go ahead and put this in now. And then let's put in a small parking lot right there. And then what we can do is we will put in our, uh, our tennis court and then our basketball court. Yeah, look at that, nice. And then I think for the parking, we're just gonna do a really small one. We really don't have a lot of space, but Nice, there we go. So I got the parking lot in, high school looks good. We got the tennis court and the basketball court. And so now now what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and put in some trees. I think I'm just gonna do this young linden and then do the wild hedge. And so I'll be right back with you. Okay, and that is it. I think it looks really good. It's uh, not overdone, just kind of accentuated the high school with the bushes, same with the tennis courts and the basketball courts. And so now what I would like to do is go ahead and jump into paths and we are going to do the zoo path. And I just want to connect up the key wall with the residential area. I feel like that would really be important for this area. It'd be like one of the amenities to move here is having the waterfront area. Though, I mean, everybody's got a home on the waterfront. So I don't know if they'd be walking around on the key wall. But you never know. I've, I've been in areas where it's like waterfront areas. And there's normally some sort of walkway or like a harbor, um, like docks that people can walk on and stuff like that. Sometimes they are closed off to the public and sometimes you can walk down to them. It really depends. So we'll go like this and you know what? I'm just going to copy this all the way around. Okay, so I got all the paths in and now what I wanna do is try to fill in some of these little areas. So I think what we'll do is jump into a two unit road and I actually went through and upgraded all of our roads to this uh, European road, This. European two lane stone bridge because it has these stone sidewalks. I felt like it was going to be really cool for the area to just have the entire area as, um, as like a upscale neighborhood, you know? And so I, I went through and I literally upgraded everything. And so now there's these stone bridges leading into the neighborhood. And so just be, you would know immediately that you were in just a really nice area. So now what I want to do is go ahead and fill in these little end caps. So I think we're going to do a little park in here. So we will grab this, keep snapping on, go like this, and then let's go ahead and add in a park. Parks are super important for even rich areas still. So we'll go like this, if I can grab that park. Hey, you know what, that actually looks pretty good. And then let's go ahead and do the same thing over here. Probably not the same park though. This is a much smaller area. So we will go like that. And then let's jump in here. I think we can. Hey, you know what? Right there. That's perfect. I'm just going to clean up this road now. We'll go like that. Bring this all the way back. I'm going to do the same thing right here. Control H. Nice. 
This looks pretty good. I think I'm going to connect up these little roads with the key wall as well. I think it would be smart. So we'll jump in here, turn off snapping, and just connect these up. Just makes it a little bit cleaner and it provides that access, which is super important. Um, as long as you don't do that. Nice. I think that looks great. And so I did want to do a couple pedestrian bridges as well, if we could, though I don't actually know if it's necessary anymore. We have all of these road bridges, but I think having a bridge over here would be fantastic. I wonder if we can get it off the ground. No, it's going to hit that. How can we get this over there without it hitting that? That's going to be iffy. So we uh, actually don't need this to be super tall. And we will grab this and curve it in. And then we will grab this and just turn it. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we will go like that. Perfect. And then what I'm going to do is jump into the move it mod and I'm just going to shift this out a little bit so that we can get it. Oh, you know what? It looks like I can't. Maybe we will raise it up just a smidge. Nice, there we go. So now we have access over here and it does clear that key wall, which is super important, but it looks good and it already looks like people are using it. And so this is just fantastic. What I wanna do now is jump into node controller and we're just going to hook up these crossings with a little crosswalk action. Because this is a residential area, it doesn't really matter having that extra light in there will be important as that people can actually get around. Um, Cause normally I mean, in real life, you would just cross the street, but because this game doesn't allow that. Uh, people actually just follow the curb all the way down until they can get to where they're going or they'll pull out a car out of their pocket, which we want to try to avoid as much as possible. And so now what I want to do is go ahead and do our services. So we need to do, let's go ahead and decrease the spacing on this. It looks like it, it bumped up again. So we'll uh, go like this all the way around. I want to remove zoning off of the vertical streets and then we will jump in here. Let's go to our medical clinic, place that one down. Let's do a fire department as well. And then let's do our police department. Might as well put them all right next to each other. Where are these guys going? Ooh, do we have like a, a sickness going on or something? Uh, I mean, yeah, down here. I'm wondering if it's, is it trash? Ooh, not enough water. Okay, so it looks like we need to add in another water pump because our water down here is just not doing great. We have a ton of pollution over in this area. Where do we have our water pumps right now? So we have them right here, but it looks like the pollution is actually coming down here. Did we unlock the next one yet? 26,000, so we actually need to get rid of these. The pollution is literally seeping in here and it's going to get everybody sick. Good thing we looked at that because I, I didn't even look at that. And because we have these guys, it's literally dumping the pollution right into the water, which is just terrible. Um, let's go ahead and figure out a nice spot that is going to be away from pollution. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put our water uh, intakes up over here. And then what we're going to do is extend our road out from our water treatment facility. And um, that this should be good enough. This is far enough away from the pollution to where I'm not super worried about it. Um, and then once we upgrade these, we're not going to have any pollution in here. It looks like I forgot to connect that up. Um, but then what I want to do is, um, so we can unpause now. Let's see if our water availability is good. Come on, come on, you can do it. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. And it actually looks like we could use one more. Let's just do one more right now so we don't have to worry about it and then what we're going to do is jump in here we're going to move this back we're going to grab this road and extend this out so we're going to come like right here we're going to go right there and let's go ahead and grab our fence go like right here and then i'm just going to draw this around because we want to provide maintenance access for back here. That would be super important. So now we have new water intake. Man, this pollution is getting super bad. I can't even believe that. Oh, now we have them. Um, all that water is not being sucked anymore. So it's, uh, it's flooding. Great. This should bounce out though. I'm hoping. I'm thinking the current should start to go back that way or whatever direction it's going. So now that we got that fixed, we should have our... Healthcare fix. Let's go ahead and look at that. 
Yeah, so they're they're pretty good. They're better now. Let's um so we have no pollution back here. How's our garbage doing? So our processing is getting pretty low. We got garbage over here. We actually got a lot of garbage over here. So I think that's actually not bad. And they have direct access to the freeway. So this should actually be pretty good. Um, we do need to upgrade to um, the waste transfer facilities. But I think maybe we'll do that on the next episode. I think that would be good. And so let's uh, go ahead and finish this area off. I want to do commercial around. So we're going to go like that. And we're going to come up over here and it looks like we still have a little bit of a setback right there. And then we will do commercial back here as well. Let's go ahead and put it in here. And then I think we will leave this empty because we're not really sure um, if we're going to have the Metro go forward. I'm pretty sure it is. And so we don't really want to mess that up, especially since this is going to provide access to our downtown. That would be really good. And so now we have some commercial in, we have our residential. And so what I want to do is um, just let it run for a minute. I'm going to put on three times speed and we will see how it goes. Okay, so I let it run and we hit Capital City, 26,000, yay. So we got ships finally, so we can get a cargo harbor going, which is fantastic um, as we don't have any cargo facilities. We got the eco water treatment plant, which honestly I think we're going to replace right now. Oh, we got our first uh, academic report. It is a uh, white, white, over 9,000 white bed sheets were appropriated by students for the year's toga party. And that is a lot of bed sheets for a toga party. You can normally see the toga party people walking around too. Did we miss it? Yeah, you normally see like a big crowd of people just walking around for the toga party. So let's actually check this out. Ooh, I thought we did water over here. Oh, you know what? I did water around the island and I didn't hook it up to anything. That's terrible. No wonder we're not getting any students look we have zero out of 500 that's just terrible i can't even believe i did that so now it's yeah now it's good and so uh, we'll have to let that run for a second but let's go ahead and switch out this so eco water treatment plant so we're going to pause and we are going to delete these because this is just terrible we uh, cannot have this level of pollution it's almost embarrassing like our city would have to answer for this, just dumping pollution into the water like this. Nice, there we go. And so now we have the eco water treatment ones that came with the green cities and they should start pumping here any second. I hooked them up, yeah. And so now um, all this black, just terrible water should go away because I believe the pollution on those is like zero. So pollution on these is, I guess, so it says zero for the regular ones, but it's not. It's a noise pollution of 15. I wonder if that's backwards. Um, this one's actually zero and then noise pollution of 15. And so, okay, so we let it run for a while and it looks like all of our residents have pretty much came in and we have a lot of action happening on the key walls. There's just a ton of people walking on them. And it's kind of funny. I think um, in the game, people prefer to walk on the key walls rather than on the street when you have these paths like this. And it's just so great. It, we really have so many people walking around. It's fantastic. I really like to see it. Um, I did try to go in with hedges or fences in here because the key wall is so close to the houses though. It made it really hard. The hedge kept going into the ground and so I decided not to do that. I think what we'll do though is go ahead and do the young lindens and we'll kind of make it like a, a privacy tree almost. But we don't necessarily want to block the whole view for everybody. So I think we will increase the spacing to about 12. And then what this is going to do is just kind of block off the homes from the key wall a little bit. Okay, so I added in those trees. I think it looks really good. It help, actually helps to accentuate the key walls a little bit. This area just looks fantastic. I really like these self-sufficient homes too. I, th I think it looks really cool. Let's go ahead and check on our university real quick. See if we finally have some students. Oh, we do. Nice. 518 out of 500. So that means we are going to hit the next unlock here soon. I don't think we're going to do any policies as of yet, but we do need to um, up our academic staff. So I think we're making about 20,000 a week with that ore. So I think we will bump this up to four because that increases the chances for us to get an academic work as you need to get academic works to upgrade. So like right now we need to get two academic works before we can get to the next level. And um, the goal is for us to level this all the way up. And so I, I think this looks really good. I really like this area. I think having those bridges looks fantastic. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and hit that like button. Um, I super appreciate it. It really helps out the channel a lot. 
And I think that's going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed this build out, you are definitely going to enjoy the video on your screen. And thank you so much for watching. I will catch you on the next episode.